Welcome to this guide of how to check out digital books using our website. We're going to start out here on the Davies County Library website. This is the address up here that you'll need to go to to get started. After you've gotten to the web page, you're going to notice that there is a green and gray banner on the page. That banner says Missouri Libraries to Go. They're the ones that sponsor our digital books and our uh, digital audiobooks. So we're going to go ahead and click on this banner and it'll link us to their website. Once we're there, we're going to see uh, this green web page. And on the web page, there's quite a few features. The first feature we're going to look at is the search feature. You can put your cursor in the white box here by clicking on it and you can type in something that you're looking for. It can be the title of a book like The Hunger Games. And then you're going to select the format that you want. If you have a Kindle, you're going to select Kindle Book. If you have a Nook or an iPad or another device that reads books, it's going to be uh, one of these other choices. There's Adobe EPUB Book. Adobe PDF book and Open EPUB book. Um, the Adobe EPUB and the Open EPUB are going to read like a book. The pages are going to turn sideways. The PDF is going to scroll like a Word document or like a PDF document, if you know what that is. It's going to scroll up and so it's, it's going to have a, a lot less features. So there's some choices that you have. Um, and then these last two are audiobooks. Um, the MP3 audiobook will play on most devices. Right now, this uh, WMA audiobook is only going to play on a Windows computer. Um, you'll be able to get it to play on some of your MP3 players, like an iPod, those type of things as well. But they're not going to play on your iPad or on your Kindle or on your Nook. Um, now that might change in the future, but for now. Those are, that's kind of what you're looking at. So you can choose a format. You don't have to if you don't want to. The third thing you can do is change what you're looking for. By looking at all, it's going to look for everything that has your search terms in it. So you can leave it at all. If you searched and it brings back too many things, you can try and narrow it here. Um, or if, say, you were looking for an author, like Glee Child, and you didn't want it to look through everything, you just wanted it to look through an author, you could choose that. So those are the basics of the search function. Once you're ready to go, you just click on Go, and it's going to bring back some search results. So these are the search results that I've gotten by doing my search. You'll see here that once you've done a search, you can narrow that search by clicking in this box here and narrowing the search down. If I don't want all the Lee Child books that I've searched for, I can narrow those results. Say I only wanted to um, get the Jack Reacher series, then I could put Jack Reacher in here. And it would narrow those results. It would still be within books that were written by the lead child, but it would just be more specific than only the books um, that involve Jack Reacher. And you see that I have far less results that have come back. Now, if I've narrowed my results too much, I can go ahead and hit the back button. It's going to bring back the 136 results I had before and I could change it to something else. Um, another thing that you can do is you can click this button here and it'll only show you copies that you can check out right now because there's sometimes that all the copies are checked out and you'd have to place a hold on it such as this book here. And you can see all the information about a book here in the space. It's going to show you a little picture of it. It's going to give you some information about the book itself. It's going to tell you how many copies are available. Right now there's no copies of this available and 34 patrons are waiting for it. 
This is how many copies we own. There's four copies that we own. These are the formats that it's available in. It's available as a Kindle book. It's available as an Adobe EPUB book. Since there's no copies available, I'd have to place a hold on it. Well, if I didn't want to place a hold on it, I can go ahead and check this box, and I can refine my search. Now it's only showing books that are available. Now this book here, it's only available as an audiobook. You can see there's no other formats here in this box that it's available as. Same with this book here. You'll see on the audiobooks it tells you what um, devices are compatible with this format. So you can see that this format is not compatible with Macs. It doesn't let you burn them to CDs. It's not going to work on your standard MP3 player. But there are some MP3 players that are WMA compatible. iPods, they've gotten to work with those. And so it's trying to be real friendly, let you know how this is going to work for you. Down here is a book where there is a copy checked out because we own three copies, but we still have two copies left. So that's kind of the features of searching for a book. Now there's other ways you can look for books. I'm going to go back to the main page to show you those. So we've highlighted some books that are new here in this area and it's going to show us the picture of them. We can look at other new books by clicking on these arrows here. There's some other topics that they've highlighted. These are new audiobooks. These are newly released books, so not all, only are they new to us, but they're new in general. And these are books that the, this company recommends. And this is lo um, the company is the Missouri Libraries to Go. So these aren't necessarily books that we've recommended through our library, but these are books that they re that they recommend. So you can browse through books that way. You can also browse different categories. You can browse through um, ebook fiction. And then it's going to give you some topics that you can click on. If I click on one of these, it's going to bring back all the ebook historical fiction in a similar list as though you had searched for a book. Another feature, um, this is the same for when you search for books, you can resort the things that come back. So right now it's sorted by the date it was added to the site. You can change that. You can make it so that it's sorted by title. And now the results are going to come back in alphabetical order. You can change it by to the most popular books. And what basically what that means is the books that are getting checked out from the system the most often. And so on. So you can also browse on these other things here. Um, you can browse for children, you can browse for young adults. There's some other ways that you can browse. Right here. The last way you can search for books is by doing an advanced search. If you go ahead and click here on the words advanced search, it's going to give you several fields. You can simultaneously search for all these different things. So you can type in the affair. Type in the creator as Lee Child. You can put in a format that you're interested in and hit search. And it's going to simultaneously look for all of those things. Now, and there's my result. Now, um, you don't have to do a lot of things at once. You can just do one, even in advanced search, but it still gives you some more options. So you can change how many items will be on each page. You can check this box to make it show only copies that are available. 
in addition to choosing what format the book is in. You can choose a publisher that you like. You can search for just a subject. We have a lot of different subjects that you can go through. You could search for books that have won a certain award. And this is another way to browse. Uh, you could just click on one of these subjects and put nothing else in at all. And you can browse through all the books that are about art. So those are the basic ways that you can perform a search for a book.